Hey, it's Rick Khan from RickKhan.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple ad sets in one campaign the easy way. But first, if you're new to this channel, I strongly advise that you stay ahead of your advertising for your business by staying up to date with the latest changes and strategies. And you can do that by simply considering to subscribe below. But with that said, if you're starting a test campaign to test different audiences and you don't know how to use one budget in a single campaign and you don't know how to create multiple ad sets within this, then this video is gonna show you the quickest and easiest way to do it. And as a quick bonus, I'll show you how to create multiple ads within each ad set so you can run a test of using different creatives and formats. So with that said, let's jump straight onto my screen and let's get this done. So here we are in an example ad account and all you do to begin with is press create and for the first campaign this is just the one campaign we'll call conversions and here you would label your campaign so this is the campaign level ad set level and ad level and for this one i'll just put test campaign so you can see that clearly so here on the ad set level you'll be testing out multiple different or uh, interests so i'll put test interest one and testing multiple creatives and different ad formats i'll just put add creative one so you would press continue now i'm not going to go into full detail about creating the campaign and the ad set level this is mainly how to like duplicate the ad sets i've got more videos which i'll link in the description below how to go through all this in detail so i'm just going to whiz through most of this part to get to the uh, duplication part so you I generally leave the campaign budget optimization alone because if you're testing, uh, you want the full control of each ad set so the money won't be distributed evenly. It will be under your own cost control on the ad set level. So you press next. So like I mentioned, you put all your details in and when you get to, you put your budget in, you start end date. Now, when you get to this part, let's say you're wanting to test multiple interests on uh, duplicating out multiple ad sets. You just press edit. Put your countries in, which United Kingdom, United States, Australia, New Zealand are the main, and Canada is the big ones I usually use. But just to speed this up, I'm going straight to detail targeting and tick that. If you don't have this, don't worry, just leave that alone if you haven't got anything like this. So you put it in. So for this example, I'll just put broad targeting options into it. So I'll just put marketing. So this will be marketing. So you would, a good rule of thumb here is at the very top, of your ad set you can rename it here to marketing ad set interest one you can put marketing and then once you've got that interest in so you press next and now this is where you can do your testing on different ads so before we start testing out the ad sets and duplicating them out i want to show you how to duplicate different ad on the ad level first so here all you would do is enter all your information, add your media. So for this example, so for this example, I'll just add this in. So now that's in for this ad. So if you come back to this again, it says this is the campaign level, the ad set level, the ad level. And all you do, if you want to do um, add more different ads, duplicate it out, press three dots. Go to duplicate and it'll duplicate another ad. Now you can add another, either another image, for example, or let's say you want to add a video to it. So I'm just going to put another example on. So here is a video. So now, as you can see at the campaign level, the ad set level, and within this ad set level, you have two different formats. I've got the ad image and the ad creative that you test. Now you can add more if you want. So you just, all you do is click the three dots again, add it in. Also, also just to mention, you can uh, label your ad differently as well up here. So you'd put, for example, here it would be ad creative image. And then for this one, you put ad creative video. It's just so you don't get confused and know which one's working and which one's not. So next, what you do to duplicate the ad set is you, again, you click your ad set and you click the three dots and you click duplicate. 
duplicate this out and now it'll say copy so for this one let's just pick a new interest so you'd go to the interest level that's what you should be duplicating and testing is the interest so i click that remove marketing and let's just put business owners small business owners so these are just very broad so once you've done that you go to the top again and what i would do to make sure everything's labeled correctly you just type it in so you can do interest number two and this one should be done and again if you want to duplicate another one three dots here duplicate so for this one again same principles you go down you remove small business owners and you add a new one. Click this one. Go to the top again. Remove this. And put three. Marketing. And once you've done all this, as you can see over here, this is your one campaign, your single campaign at the top. These four dots on the side is your ad set level. As you can see, ad set, ad set, ad set. And within these ad sets, these are the ad levels. So that's the ad creative video, it's the ad creative of image. These are different formats. And you can just keep duplicating this over and over to, depending on how many you have, you wanna to add to, into it. And really, it's as simple as that. Just to recap, all you do is go to the three dots and, oh, and click duplicate, duplicate again. And here you'll have your next ad set. So as you can see, it says copy on the side there. All you do is label it by removing, always make sure you remove the interest within the one you, you've uh, changed on your ad set. And again, this was just a quick tutorial. I've not gone into detail how to create the actual campaign properly or the ad set properly. I have got other videos explaining it, which I will put that in the link below a descript in the description. But if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, it really helps to push it through the algorithm if you give me a like. And always stay up to date with Facebook marketing by subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.